time for blog mess. <laughs> Singing at 8.30? Probably not the best idea. Good morning and welcome to the first day of vlog mess. Ooh, I can see my breath. <sighs> Whew. It's Friday, December 1st. Let's get into this frost-covered car. A clear sign that it's December. Look at this windshield. This hasn't happened yet. I think it's really pretty, but I haven't had ice-covered windshields in a long time. Let's see how fun this will be. Oh, are we on? Oh, I didn't realize we were on. All right, windshield's taken care of. I'm gonna defrost these windows. I'll catch you at Starbucks. It is going to be a busy, busy day, and I'm excited to take you guys with me. I'm excited that these things happened on the first day of Vlogmas. We've got some coffee to get, we've got some things to get done. Guys, it is a warm chai kind of Friday. I was gonna try to vlog in the Starbucks, but there were two huge groups. I don't know who decides to meet on purpose at Starbucks at eight o'clock in the morning for a social call, but there were two groups that did it. So I said, I won't be that girl who sits behind them and vlogs. I'll just get in, get my coffee so I can wake up because I believe I have two hours until I leave my office, do a short live stream on the channel to introduce Vlogmas, but as Vlogmas is one day behind, today on December 1st we'll have a live stream and on December 2nd we'll have today's filming in a vlog. Regardless, today is a very busy day, it's hence the Grande Coffee. I did have a Starbucks reward and I have not been to Starbucks in 10 days. I tried making my own cold brew, I tried to just stay out of Starbucks just kind of like reset my eating a little bit before and after Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving break you guys? I haven't really vlogged a whole lot in a while and I haven't done a live stream so I haven't actually gotten a chance to sit and say how are you guys? How was Thanksgiving? How was this coffee? It's great thanks for asking. I also announced on my Facebook last night and I'll be announcing it today on the live stream that I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical. I will have the link listed down below and at the end of this video and all Vlogmas videos, I will put a little blurb of how you can vote. It has a little step-by-step -step guide. If you're on my Facebook page, you already know this because I released the How to Vote for Me little tiny video early to those people and if you're on my mailing list, you have seen the graphic that I made in my design class yesterday. First time graphics design class and it was awesome. I really like it. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for the intro of Vlogmas. I wanted something short and sweet. I couldn't really get the reds to work the way I wanted. It's a little more pink, but you know what? I said I'll go with it. It's the first time. Anyway, it's time to jump back into traffic, head to the office for an hour, get two appointments done there, um, drive out to ABC Studios, I haven't talked about it much on this vlog yet because I figure I'm going to talk about it later in the day and in the live stream so I don't want to like, here it is, it's here. I will be driving to ABC Studios here in Columbus, Ohio and filming my very first commercial. Um, I did the hair the way they wanted which was just a low simple bun, oh I gotta pin some more hair back and I did basic, um, they just asked for natural looking lipstick so there you go don't have a bunch of makeup on, just like the essentials. I don't even have foundation on, actually. I just have on BB cream, um, a little bit of eyeliner to look awake, literally, and then a little bit of thin mascara. That's it. That's what's on the face. Let's let this coffee kick in, and let's get this day started, because we're going to film a commercial today. There's a gentleman directing the traffic out of the Starbucks back onto the main drag, and I have a few minutes that I have to wait. Let's focus on a positive. This weekend is the very first weekend in six weeks that I don't have a two-show day because Dreamgirls closed last weekend. We did a sold-out Thanksgiving performance weekend, which was a Friday, two-show Saturday, and a Sunday. Normally, we would have a Thursday. We were doing five-show weekends. And this last weekend, our final one, we sold out the entire show. It was a phenomenal experience. I thought the show was great. The cast was great. But now, I am 
going to enjoy this weekend. Tonight is going to be date night slash spa night. Tomorrow, I'm not leaving my house. And then Sunday, I'm taking you guys with me. I have a secret Santa with a bunch of my high school girlfriends. And then we're going to go to my high school's like alma mater choir concert. And I'm going to be a total nerd. Oh, it's my turn. Let's go to work. I don't know the song. Sorry, Ariana. I just filmed my December plan with me and I used the desk calendar here in my office. Outside of ABC Studios here in Columbus, I have all my registration, I printed the script, and I got all my notes, so I'm gonna do my live stream, and then I, I asked about taking this camera in, I never heard back. I will go in and sign in, and then I will ask whoever's behind the desk, whoever looks to be in charge, if I'm allowed to film. I have a feeling the answer's gonna be no, because I didn't hear anything back, but I can at least film outside the studio, and I will try to take it in and film as much as I legally am allowed to. Super excited about it. So first, I'm gonna do the 10 a.m. live stream that you're about to see here on the actual December 1st, and then when we're done, I will head into the studios, vlog a little bit on the outside, and then if I'm allowed to film in the studio, in the recording room where I will sit. I thought it was really cool and kind of ironic that this is happening on the first day of Vlogmas, because I feel like I've shared a lot of my, like, acting gigs and that NBC interview, like all this stuff has been happening. Sorry, I'm like tucking my coat in. So I thought it was really cool that we're gonna start this month off doing this commercial. I also parked in the shade in the very back of this parking lot so they didn't see some girl talking to her phone. All right, just a few more minutes to the live stream and then we be going in to do this commercial. This is so cool. Shadow. We're going inside. We are done. I tried to vlog walking into that lobby, but the second I walked through those glass doors, the gentleman behind the counter let me politely but sternly know there would be no filming and that I would be signing a release form stating I didn't do any video or audio recording of any kind while on the premise. Technically, I'm still on the premise, aren't I? You want to see who's parked next to me? Can you see them? Um, in this commercial, I was doing the voiceover. So the commercial had already been shot. You know how when you watch commercials on TV and you see like a family crossing the street and you hear somebody say like, do you have this problem or this problem. I was the person doing the voiceover, only it wasn't pushing like a drug company or anything like that. It was just for a small business here in the city, but they booked a little studio room here at ABC and Fox. I didn't know they both jointly owned this studio. Either way, I really wish I could have filmed it for you guys. When it does come out, I will like rip it off of social media or YouTube or something and I'll put it on the channel. I'll be like, remember that day in Vlogmas when you got to go with me all the way up to the glass doors? We'll get it. I'm gonna go finish out some things for the day and then I will meet you at... Work day, filming day is done here at Target just to pick up a few things and then I will be back at home. I'm going to get some dinner for tonight, snacks for tomorrow since I'm not leaving my house, and an outfit for Sunday's Secret Santa. We'll see you guys back at home because people stare at you. home on a Friday night is like my favorite thing. I don't know why. Is that the adult in me speaking that just loves coming home to a quiet Friday night? I just got home, unpacked everything from Target, obviously changed into comfortable clothes. There is now a lasagna in the oven, followed very shortly by some garlic toast, and then I'll be making some pumpkin chocolate chip brownie bites. 
as well as wine for me and beer for Christopher because it's going to be our night in since I have been doing Dream Girls for the last six weeks and not had a weekend of any sorts. I was able to find my old Christmas candles from last year. This one is Vanilla Snowflake. These are definitely last year's Bath and Body Works designs. And then this one I definitely burned. Like, I don't know how I did this. Twisted Peppermint. Some of my voice students get me candles for Christmas and holiday seasons just because they know that's what I like. You know how well they know me? Here's something else on my desk. Tell me they don't know me. Because I have hit all my goals for the month of November, I am treating myself to a place called the Blowout Bar. Think of it like a salon, but cut out the haircut part. It's like a bar, but you go in and they wash, like shampoo, condition, and style your hair. And you go in, they have a menu of different things. I'll take you guys with me. Um, you'll see it on Monday's video, but it will be this Sunday. Just because I've got that secret Santa, I'm going to my high school, and then I'm going out with another group of girls. It's like a jam-packed day. I said, you've hit all your goals. You're going to relax all Friday and Saturday. Why not get up a little earlier on Sunday, do your, do your makeup, get dressed, and then just go down and let them do your hair. It's also an excuse to not wash my hair for an extra day. Dreams. Check out Monday's video and you will see the blowout bar. All right, before we get out of here, let's read some kindness in the comments. April Holly Smith, AKA the Frugal Home. I love that you're doing your fundraiser. They do such great work. The medical programs they implement save lives all over the world. If you don't know what she's talking about, every thumbs up on any Vlogmas video is a dollar donated to Operation Christmas Child. Sensible living with money mom. I love your channel, Kristen. I love how you give back. Well, thank you, but you guys are also the ones giving back. And Roxana Wrangle, you actually have, wait, you actually have a really good singing voice. And she put an emoji of a microphone between singing and voice. Thank you. You'll find out if that's still a thing on Friday. Leave me your Christmas or holiday song requests in the comments. We're doing a live stream on Friday. Julie McGowan. Hey, Kristen, I bought some Dollar Tree Christmas cards so I can mail you one. My song request is the Holly and the Ivy. Mary Kate Gebhardt, yay. I'm so excited for it. All right, I'm going to go clean the house, upload all this footage and edit it into some sort of comprehensive vlog and then I will have dinner ready. The lasagna takes an hour in the oven, so it's like a power hour. I will be cleaning as much as I can. And side note, if you wanna know how I'm making those pumpkin chocolate chip brownie bites, I will link a video up in the cards that has my simple three ingredients dessert recipes. Other than that, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic weekend. One more thing, you guys. This year, I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical from when I did Pirates of Penzance, and voting is open from now until December 31st. All you have to do to cast a vote is enter a valid email address. Go down, click continue. I'll be category number six, Best Leading Actress in a Musical. You can click continue through all of them. You'll find my name in category six. And bonus points if you can find my boyfriend, Chris Rusin. He'll be in category 26. Once you click through all the categories, you'll enter your name, your email address. You'll select no to receive any future updates. Then you just click finish and you are done. Once again, voting is open from now until December 31st. Please share this with anybody who you would know would like to support the arts. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.